Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Yeah. Have y'all ever heard from, have y'all ever heard the American Pickers picking through the backwoods of America? Have you ever heard of Matt, the part-time picker on YouTube? Have you ever heard of the Cincinnati Picker? Have you ever heard of the Commonwealth Picker? Have you ever heard of this dude from Kentucky named Dave? Yeah, the Tesla Picker. Yeah, that's a new one on me. Yeah, I've been saying that for the last couple of videos. But this is Kevin from St. Louis. And I just want y'all to know that we pick in the hood too. Yeah. Hey, I just want to make a quick video. I sold 11 things today. Yeah, I want to go over what I sold. Um, if y'all remember the other day when, uh, when I, one of my favorite thrift stores opened, uh, I made a video of what I bought. Um, the scrap thing right here. I don't know what it is. But I've been getting offers on this. People been saying fifty dollars stuff like that. But I finally got what I wanted for it because I know that's what it's selling for. Eighty dollars I sold this for. Shipping is twelve dollars. It's probably more than that for shipping. But it's going. <clears throat> excuse me. It's going to Puerto Rico. It's the same guy from Puerto Rico to try to lowball me for forty dollars, fifty dollars. But anyway, this sold for eighty dollars. He bought it. So whatever. I got my money for it. Yeah. Got what I asked for. I'm on making a video. Sorry, I was interrupted. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can't work by yourself. You know what I mean? And for all you guys that was laughing at me when I bought, bought this, you know, makeup and eyebrow stuff and stuff like that. Ten dollars. I paid a dollar for this. Ten dollars I sold it for. I got free shipping because I usually ask for two, but I was trying to sell these real fast. I got a lot of them. Ten dollars, free shipping. That's one. This is the other one. This is the other one right here. I sold it for ten dollars. I sold two the same day. I got about fifty more. So I'm gonna make some money off of these. Um, what else? I sold this Pokemon Snap, Nintendo 64. Thirty dollars, two dollars shipping, free shipping. I mean two dollars shipping. It's got everything. It's got the book. Only thing that's wrong with it. The cover missing off the book. And it's got an open end on the box right here. People be complaining about the open end on the box. And I had to put, take a picture of it to show them that the box is open before I send it to them so they won't send it back. I had one guy send two of them back because the box was open on one end. And he got to leave a comment saying the box was torn up. So I, 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 I um, called e I mean uh, eBay and told them that the box wasn't torn up. And I sent them the picture of the box... This one end was torn. The whole box wasn't messed up. But anyway, you got people on eBay trying to gank you. Um, I sold this. This is some kind of clarifying um, thing for women. Um, yeah, I sold this for $20. I paid a dollar for it. I sold it for $20. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put a picture on that to show you what it looked like. This right here So. I had it on up for 20. I mean, I'm sorry. I had it on up for 15. And the guy offered me uh, $12 and I took it. So it's $12 with $3 shipping. It's a saw blade for you guys to work outside. It's a saw blade you put on one of them um, extension poles, saw poles that you cut the branches off with. That's what this is. This is a Sega, PS2 Sega. It's got like probably about 10, 15 Sega games on there. <clears throat> Excuse me, I sold this for $22. It was used. This Dark Mirror, I sold two brand new games, the Dark Mirror and the Dark, the Shadow, Siphon Filter for um, $22, $3 shipping, brand new. I had to put them together because they wasn't selling for that much. So I put them together. I think they were selling for for $5 a piece or something like that. I put them together and sold them for $22. they brand new games. I sold this used Terminator for $13, $2 shipping. Terminator game. Brand new. 
brand new Mustang Cobra hat that I bought for two dollars at thrift store. Two dollars, brand new. It just sold for twenty dollars. Um, free shipping. I got free shipping on my hats. Um, that's a big one right here, y'all. I sold this this that little scrap thing I told you for eighty dollars, but this right here, the brand new new stock. This Craftman drill sold for sixty five dollars, twelve dollars shipping. Sixty five dollars for this. The package is kind of rough, but it's brand new. Somebody pay sixty five dollars for it. Um. Yeah, I think that's it, y'all. I think that was 11 items. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm kind of tired. I've been working all day, putting up drywall, stuff like that, and I got to go to work at 6 o'clock in the morning. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of worn out. But um, I had to make this video before I start packing this stuff up. And um, all I want to say is you guys be safe out there. Wear your mask, you know, and, uh, you know, don't believe the hype. What people talking about, read for yourself. You know, that's all I got to say about that. You know, but um, thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs down if you don't. Either way you go, subscribe. And I had one guy leave a um, a message. Well, he actually left two messages. He was asking me, um, do you check your videos before you upload them and all that? You know, I'm in it to, make, to have fun and show you what I sell. I'm not here to be perfect. But if you're going to... Uh, I ask for people to, to, to give me, you know, um, to give me, uh, some, some, uh, expert, uh, advice, you know, so I can make my vid videos better. But, you know, if you don't have no advice, then don't leave no comment. You know what I'm saying? If you can't say what well, this will help you if you do this, if you just make, be sarcastic and, and, and say sarcastic stuff, then leave that stuff to yourself. You know what I mean? I, 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 I um, I text them back and, uh, you know, I'm not rude to people, but I text them back and I, I forgot what I said, but I said, um, something to the fact that, you know, I'm new at this. If that's what you call advice, then you could have kept that to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, I asked for advice. You know, if somebody give me some advice on how I can make videos better, how I can hold my camera better, how I could talk, how I could make my pictures better on the screen, you know, stuff like that. Then I'm down for it, but you know, uh, people that call, I mean, the, the write and criticize and don't, you know, try to help you out. Then you can write somebody else. You know, that's all I got to say about that. This is Kevin from St. Louis. Y'all subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. You know, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you. Always look for new old stock. You know, I got all kind of new old stock. You know, always look for that because people like some, like this guy that bought this Craftman drill. His drill probably broke. You know, he probably loved this drill. So he saw mine and he bought it. You know what I'm saying? So people used to using what they use. It's like I use Craftman tools. If I break a Craftman tool, I'm going to take it back to Sears with Sears, you know, almost all Sears clothes now. But I'm going to take it back to Sears and they give me a free one. You know, I'm used to using Craftman. I'm not used to using nothing else. I got Craftman tools that's like 30 years old that I that I bought because you you guys know I work on cars. I'm, I'm I work on hot rods. I got 65 Chevy and stuff like that, but I don't like Mustangs. But anyway, um, I'm a Chevy man. But um, anyway, um, so I started working on cars a long time ago. So I got tools that I li I like to use, and if if I lose some or break some, I'm gonna try to get the same tools. It's the same way with this drill. So try to look for new old stock, and because um, people want people want what they want, they don't want no whole, whole lot of people like me that's stuck in their ways. Don't want no no different stuff, you know what I mean? So and and then, um, you know, uh, uh, I, I like selling new stuff. A whole lot of people don't, and I sell a whole lot of heavy stuff. You know, most people don't like to sell heavy stuff. Like I I sell printers. Uh, one time I went through, through a store and, and one of my favorite stores that I got this stuff from, they had a brand new printer in there for $20. I looked it up and it was selling on eBay for $180. $180. I, I bought it for $20. I, I, I had to pay, I think I paid $40 shipping or something like that. 
and I paid 24, so that's 60. I made about $90 from that. You know what I'm saying? So, so I don't know. If I see stuff like that, I buy it. And when, especially if I see a printer that's got a toner cartridge, that's the ones you want to look for. You don't want to look for ones with them little bitty cartridges that you have to keep buying cartridges for. You want to look for the, the ones with the big toner cartridges in them because they last longer. And they, the people looking for those. I got one now that I got that I, I, I somebody bought it for $180 and I decided to keep it. So I had to give refund this money back, but I was on the line about keeping it anyway. So once it sold, I was like, Shit, I might keep this, you know, it was brand new, and, but it wasn't in a box. Somebody put it in one of those plastic contain stores containers, but it still had the tape on it, everything. CD, brand, it was brand new, still taped down. Nobody ever opened it. They just took it out the box for some reason and they put it in that, that, uh, crate. So I paid $40 for that one, you know? So, but it's it's got a toner. I took pictures of everything. So, y'all look for stuff that you all can sell, and 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 I guess factor the shipping into it when you do it. Like for like for that one, it wasn't that heavy. I think it was like probably about twenty pounds. Um, I probably would have made about hundred dollars off of that one probably. So, you guys, uh, you know, stay safe out there, and just remember that in St. Louis. We pick in the hood too. Remember that word. Peace.